Alright, alright, so as it turns out, my, uh, researching abilities well, are rather Harry, poor. I... I'm sure some of y'all have already told me. Oh shit, I don't need any of that. What are you? Giant Lord. Hell, a hex that is still pretty long. I'm damn inflicted. Don't care. Feeble cat. Um. As it turns out, actually, I may have fucked up. Wait, no. Did I? No, I didn't. Um, I did waste my time though. Where am I to here? Here's where I want to go. I did waste my time though. As it turns out, Vengarl is not Vengarl. Vendrick. Wait, no. Is it? I don't even know. Ven. One of them is. It's Vendrick. Vendrick is the king. Vengarl's the the dude is just a head. Um. Vendrick is a new game only fight. You don't fight him. He is not the final boss, so I don't actually know who the final boss is. So, like I said, poor research ability leading me to mistaken assumptions. Dude gonna follow me all the way in. Doesn't look like stuff can follow in. Nope, stuff can follow in. Only thing I can get. All right. So now the question is, oh, I don't have an. Oh, I only have one. All right. Well, I guess I don't really care about much else then. Although, that's oh, curved greatsword, really. Oops. Shit. No. Oh, she only sells fire arrows. What a shame. Well, still, fire arrows are better than nothing. Oh, god damn it. Come on, increase that number faster. Got him back again. Now I just need to decide what do I have left. All I have is the giant lord soul. Yeah, fucking I'm using the giant lord soul. But I was correct in my assumption in that uh, the final boss is behind the last king's gate. There, and why do I always go to that? I don't know why I always go to that. Oops, not that ability. Oops, not that. Drunglight Castle, which is here, and I have no fuck. Oh, maybe we should go to the one that is labeled as the King's Gate. That might be smart.
at all those summon signs. I wonder if any of these are actually NPCs or if they're all players. Show me who you are. That's a player. Certainly not an NPC I've ever seen. That's a player. I wonder if there's actually any way. Damn. That is a badass looking player. Yeah, these are all players. I wonder if there's any way to actually tell. Oh, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Fuck. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. My bad. I thought it slid back into place and locked back up. Oh, hi there. My journey is already complete. My name is Shanalot. The dragon gave me this name, for I was born with none. I was born of dragons, contrived by men. By ones who would cause and fate herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they failed. Yeah, yeah. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be bested. If you proceed, knowing that you will take the throne and link... She covets the first flame. Put Nishandra. Does that mean Nishandra's the final boss, I guess? Must be, must be. That's the same dude? That's the same dude. And yeah, chill out with your... Oh shit, throw him on. Oops. Alright, so I have to get through this just so I do not have to re-equip the king's stone again. Or the king's ring. Whatever. God damn, this is a long pathway with nothing on it. At least the pathway to Gwyn had that, uh... What's it called? Those black knights or whatever. NPC? You are definitely not an NPC. If I see an NPC, I'ma summon him. Just for shits and giggles. But it doesn't look like, yeah, I got no NPCs. I mean, I'm pretty sure if, like, what I've gotten from my very limited reading is a pro- Oh god, there's two of them. Why are there two of them? Why has there always gotta be two of them? I'm definitely going after the Watcher first. Looks like whatever, he, she, something has far less health probably. Quicker, more agile, but less health. Probably deals less damage too. Copying each other, I guess. Shit, 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 shit. That actually wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. Oh god. Alright, so I should ideally. Oh, okay. Um. As long as I can actually, like, block and shit. Nope, can't block. Don't want to block, I guess. That was my fault. Shit, if I get hit one more time, I am done for. Oh, no, 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 Fuck you, you son of a bitch. That one was my own fault. I should have waited. Should have been more patient. But I need to remember. Once I get that... Because I think... I think if I get... um, If I have enough stamina... Once I get her below half health and she fires up that sword, I should be able to use that opportunity to actually kill her. Just do, you know, like...
just throw out like three heavy attacks and hope that I don't get bopped in that time. Sure hope Nishandra is a challenging boss fight. Because we really haven't had one. And this one really isn't, it's just I made a dumb mistake. I mean it, it pretty much so far every single fight has with two opponents has basically run exactly the same way as the Ruin Sentinel fight. You just let one attack you pay attention to the first one. You let them attack, you change your target to the second one, let them attack, and then you counter-attack them. And then, you know, so long as you're patient. See, the thing, like, it, this one make really does make me feel like this is supposed to be an NPC. I wonder if that's, this is an NPC, you know what? Because let me check, let me just see, do these dudes, is this guy, is this white? They are white. Okay, so I don't know. First time that dude's done a string of attacks. That was the very first time he did it, and he broke that out of him immediately. Damn it. Kill, okay, well, I absolutely do not care at this point. I am going to use the other one that I got that also protects with petrification, but it's twice as much to repair. Pain in the ass! Yeah. Just had to check. See if maybe it had any kind of effect whatsoever. I got 17 minutes. This is going to be the last goddamn video. I refuse to allow this to continue on. Although, although, the immature side of me says I should get to part 69 and finish it on that. Because you know the ladies like getting finished. Eh? 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 Uh. See, that just, it makes me feel like that's an MP, that must be an NPC because like, as you see, if I just sit here for a while... Oh, nothing else is popping up. Oh, there they are. But see, it takes a while for those to pop up that are obviously players. Whereas that one has been there every single time. I have to wonder if that's actually been Garl. Shit! Shit! Attack on her. Oh, fuck. Did 
not work out how I wanted it to. Like, there's, there's nothing that makes me angrier than basically forcefully putting the player at a disadvantage in regard to your mechanics. Where you give the NPCs just significantly better, um, not options, but just better tracking, better hitboxes, better everything. I mean, at the very least, it should be kept consistent. And this is my own. This is my own fault. I focused on a weapon type that just doesn't really cut it in regard to hitboxes. I mean, at least for the attacks that I'm using it for. I, there are some attacks, like for instance, the roll attack is goddamn amazing. Flee. You no, know, this shit right here. That's got a fantastic hitbox. The second attack of this chain, good hitbox, is what you would want from a sword. But the shit, what am I doing? The one that's at, um, I don't even know why I'm bothering re-equipping these. Like, if this is the final boss fight, or if this leads to the final boss fight, then these are kind of useless. It doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway. The straight downwards attacks, they just, because my character has none of the same, like, trackability that all the other characters, that all the NPCs in the game do. I'm trying to figure out if I want to kill this. Or if I just want to, uh... I really, I just, I can't decide if I want to kill that off and use a different ring that has, like, an effect to it. Or if I want to keep it. Because it does, I mean, like, it does give me a health bonus. And clearly I could use the fucking health. I have been forgetting to re-equip my pyromancy... Not glove, but, you know, the flame. I'm just glad I figured out that uh, Vendrick isn't actually a boss, isn't the final boss, and is a new game boss before I killed off the Ancient Dragon. I would have been sad. Granted, I did kill the shit out of Ben Harl, so clearly I'm not overly sympathetic towards the NPCs and whatnot. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, that's cool. I started holding down the left button because I got bodied by every attack when I tried to dodge it. And we didn't defend it. I'm loving it. I'm really not. That's a joke. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I can't see. Yeah, I should just stick with this attack. That was a spell. Don't, yo, why was it? Mm, hit the X button like three times, this bitch. Shit. Damn it, that was supposed to be her death. I thought I had it. No 
one sec. I'm not gonna take a risk though. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk. Use! Shielding motherfucker. Yo, dude, why is the X button just not. I should have healed in time. There was no reason for me to get hit there. There, fuck it. I'm dead. I'm good to go. Wait, what? Why is she getting back up? What? I'm so confused right now. I don't want to use too many Estus Flasks, because this is, I mean, obviously, if it's telling me that I'm going to have to fight. I'm going to have to fight Nishandra. Grave undead, you have proven yourself to me. What the fuck? Gross. You don't even have any titties. You're gross. <laughs> Why are we just standing? Like, would you run and attack her? Like, body her. Now, be one with the dark. How did she become like this in the first place? Like I wanna I kinda wanna see that transformation happen, because seriously, how did it happen? Oh shit. That sucks. What? Okay. Hope I don't have to fight those other dudes but again. Well no, there's no way they'd make me fight those other dudes again. Because that would imply if I did have to fight them again, then I would get the souls again, and there's no way they would allow me. I mean, like, that would be a fucking fantastic farming method. Just, you know, ring of protection, ring of life protection, wear that shit. You sacrifice 3,000 souls by dying to Nishandra, and you end up getting... Oh, shit. Well, I can eat 22 deaths from Nishandra. So we got that going for us. easier to find. I don't know why I was picking and choosing which one I unequip since I just re-equip it immediately anyway. It's not like it actually affects anything. Alright, if I die here a second time, I am finally going to summon the summon sign that's over here. So that way, third time's the charm and we'll have an NPC with us and hopefully it'll be amazing. I'm really confused though why exactly the um... Actually, you know what, if this bitch is gonna be cursing me... So that way if the curse gets too much I can just use one of those. Either that or I can just equip the Ring of Binding and then it really it'll barely matter. So let's see, do we just go straight into Nishandra? Do we have to see? Is it the same scene? Nope, different scene. Worth dying for things, that's a different scene. Grave undead. You have proved. 
proven yourself to me. Now, be one with the dog. Sounds like that elf chick, Galadriel, in Lord of the Rings. That's what that voice sounds like to me. Alright, BH. That attack is my opportunity to go in and body her. It wasn't worth it. Well, actually, I got my stamina back rather quickly. It was definitely worth it. Um, shit. Hey, you know what? I don't even care, dude. I don't care now. Wait, what? What? What was I taking damage from? The curse doesn't do damage, the curse just takes my health, but what? That was confusing, but okay. Alright, I guess we're gonna summon help this time. We're gonna summon that thing that I think is an NPC, and we're gonna fucking find out whether or not it's an NPC. I think it's Vengardle, but I don't know. But first things first. Oh, actually, these are both broken, aren't they? Damn it. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, that was my fault. I got way too fucking greedy there. This boss fight seems very simplistic. I mean, unless she breaks something out, but really the only gimmick that I can see is the whole curse thing, and that's really not not that big of a deal. Flame. Oh, whatever. I got Flame. the soul sport, who cares? Granted, that curse builds up hella goddamn quick. <laughs> Although, you know what? To be perfectly honest... Like, literally the only reason I'm using that ring, I don't give a shit about the souls. The only reason I'm using that ring in the first place is so that, um... Where are you at? Was that again? Oh. The only reason I'm using that ring in the first place is so that I don't continually lose my humanity, continually lose health. I don't care if I, I mean, like, if I lose my souls here, I'm going to get them back rather easily. So now, I mean, if I'm getting cursed constantly and I'm going to have to use them, use the items anyway, that ring, just its purpose is gone. There's no point of it. So Ring of Binding will hopefully give me more health, allow me to tank some things that I otherwise would not be able to tank.
and next time I won't stand next to her when she's clearly charging up a very powerful attack. Alright, bro. Oh, it even tells you. I'm stupid. Alright, I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea that it literally told you that. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Yo, fire, dude. Carl's kind of getting his ass kicked here. Ow. I kind of got my ass kicked there. Oh shit, the items are gone. I'm going. I hope I didn't actually just lose Bengaro there. I mean, granted, he didn't really do that much. He was doing very little damage in the first place. But still, the fact that she didn't die, that makes me so mad. How many times has that happened to me? fucking Marvel developers up in here. Tossing characters in the magic pixel and shit. Well, that doesn't mean Vangarl's dead. That bow attack did significantly less than I thought it would. I was hoping I would at least get like in the 200 to 300 damage range rather than like what was it 130 granted a significant amount or at least I think oh that's actually very surprising that I don't that's surprising that I got that little damage from it maybe she's just not vulnerable to fire I just figured Flame Swath was doing a pretty goddamn good amount of damage. Surely the arrows would do well too, but nope. But really, I hope that doesn't mean Vanguard's gone. It's my first time summoning a homie. Nope, not gone. I mean, really, the AI just isn't good enough to really do this because he stays in range. Honestly, this would actually be significantly better for kind of everybody involved.
I gotta keep her aggro on me. That didn't work very long. <laughs> I gotta keep her aggro on me. So Vengarl doesn't die. And Vengarl's dead. Too bad poor Vengarl didn't live. Oh shit, are those all giants? You have to fight all of these. Oh fuck, they're moving. We are gonna have to fight all of them! Or they're just gonna form up into the bridge for us. So now do I have the choice again? I gotta either light the shit up, who link the fire, or I plunge everything into darkness the forever. Curse. Once the fire is linked, souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. It is your choice. To embrace All this will play out again. Well, let's not this. do that then. <gasps> this hell is serious music. Serious scene. My homie wearing a jester hat. It's perfect. Fucking love it. Great sovereign, take your throne. No, thank you. That looks uncomfortable as fuck. <laughs> I love it. That's the perfect hat. I'm so glad I'm wearing that. What lies ahead, only you can see. Man, don't close the doors. I'm gonna be in darkness forever. Do I not make a choice? It certainly doesn't look like I make a choice, because last time you either had to... Last time you either lit the bonfire, you just walked away. Those were your two choices. Whereas here, it certainly doesn't seem like there was a choice, unless I was supposed to take that small amount of time. To just, like, run out. I guess I was supposed to take that small amount of time to just run out the room or something. Was that? I guess there is no other ending. Although I guess, thinking about it, basically what they're saying, well basically what I'm getting, <laughs> what I am getting from it in my opinion, like what I'm reading from that, is basically, this is either the end, it's up to you. You do this or you don't do this. And then the new game is doing it again, where she basically says this all plays out again. If you do a new game, it all plays out again. So that must be what she that's my assumption of it, of why there's no secondary. I'm it makes sense in my brain. I don't know if it makes sense in yours, but it makes sense in mine. I'm 
that does, like I said, that does make sense. The one time I pay attention to anything story related, I seem to have worked it out. You light the fire and you go on to a new game, everything plays out again, or you don't, and it's gone. You're just, it's done. The process is over. At least until Dark Souls 3. It'll be interesting, Dark Souls 3 will, because I would really, really significantly hope that a new console would be capable of giving, <coughs> of basically making everything better, of being able to tighten down the hitboxes, of being able to have better AI, just better everything. I don't really understand, like, I know there's been a shit ton of, like, controversy around the graphics of this game because apparently previews they showed didn't end up matching up to the end game or whatever. Like, I don't get it. I didn't have a problem with the graphics. The graphics were the one fucking thing I didn't have a problem of. The Shrine of Amani was fucking beautiful, Amani. The Shrine of Amana was fucking beautiful. That was some great, like, that was a great environment. A fantastically designed just like I mean it was a fantastically designed environment but holy shit the level itself sucked to like it was a great it was great to look at sucked balls to travel through same thing with the dragon airy like all of those dragons just flying around that shit was amazing I don't know why people are bitching about the graphics these are some of the I mean even then even though you don't need like perfectly lifelike realistic graphics to love the graphics. Something like Borderlands is fucking beautiful. I love Borderlands. But that's nowhere even near lifelike. It's more cartoonish. Same thing with Okami. That was one of the best looking games of the past generation. One of the best looking games that also nobody played, disappointingly, because that was an awesome game. But still, one of the best looking games of the past generation, and it was very, it was like a painting. It was like you were looking at a painting. So you don't need these, like, perfect, lifelike graphics to make something look good. I was impressed by a lot of it. Nah, <laughs> Michiko playing. I'm only laughing at that because I have a friend named Michiko. Functionality testers. Fuck you, functionality testers. Well, that's probably not what I'm actually thinking of. Anybody that tested the hitboxes of this game, fuck you. I guess I should give like an actual final thought kind of a deal. Basically, I don't know what the factor here was. I don't know if it was because I started using the great sword. I don't know if it was because I had the great shield. I don't know if it was just because I leveled up finally and I approved shit and that just made everything exponentially easier but the second half of the game barring the frustration of Shrine of Amana barring the bullshit enemies of Dragon Shrine <laughs> fuck them the game got very easy I didn't really have any problems aside from those two all the problems I did have were just again led to, just because I was impatient Oh, or because of that fucking Nevlon dude. Fuck that guy. That dude was an asshole. He came in like every single level I went to, that dude came in and invaded me. Asshole. But the good thing is I really do, I really am glad that I ended up playing this uh, online this time. Unlike last time, for those of you that may not have watched my original Dark Souls playthrough, I actually played the entirety of that. Not the entirety of it. I think there were a couple videos where I just turned it online to see if I might get invaded, but I never did. Um, I'm glad that I played this online because I really did enjoy the short moments I did have PK, even though I did not do very well because I'm not used to it. And then also there were a couple of them that were very laggy connections and that didn't help either. But I'm still interested. It still seems fun. Uh, I definitely need to find... Like, if I am going to continue playing this game, I most definitely need to look through more weapon types, because I d really did not find anything that I, like, I really, really enjoyed. A hundred. Let's go. But also, I mean, like I said, I really want to play as a cleric. 
And I could probably do that now. If I just, cause, like I said, I don't really care about the great sword. I wasted a shit ton of materials. So what does this do? Let me see. Yeah, there it is. See? Begin journey two. So that's a new game. Um. But basically. Bear hunt. Oops! Damn it! Why do I do that every time? Why I'm making y'all watch this shit? Oh, I repaired all my shit, I guess. Good to know. Um, what was I even talking about now? I don't even know. All right, new game. I do really want to play as a cleric. I really enjoyed the short moments I had with it. Like just watching this motherfucker throw the lightning, hella fun. It's awesome. I love the animation for him throwing the lightning. Uh, so if I did do new game, I would probably switch to that. And it would be kind of fun to, uh, I mean, in my opinion, it would be kind of fun to do, uh, Sunbro and help people out with bosses and whatnot, just do that shit, that'd be fun. But, obviously, I mean, the thing is, on top of that, I really would not be expecting, well, I, firstly, I wouldn't be expecting me to record it in the first place, but I don't even know if I'm actually gonna play it, because I have, I still have to finish Tales of Vesperia. Now that Persona 4 has come out on um, on PS3 for download, I really want to play Persona 4, and I want to do a playthrough of that to kind of complete it, prepare for play, uh, Persona 5 coming out later this year. I think it's later this year? I'm pretty sure it comes out either fall or winter of 2014. That may be Japan only, though. We may have to wait longer here in America. But, um... So, uh, it's basically going to depend on time, and I don't have much of it. And I have plenty of games to play. And I got life stuff. So I don't even know if I'm going to play New Game Plus. And again, like, kind of, it was... This is kind of like Mass Effect. Like, all over again. Kind of the same deal. Where, like, in Mass Effect 3, it was a wonderful ride. Like, the entirety of Mass Effect. Wonderful ride. Mass Effect 1 was very, very... Like, I mean, they all had their flaws. Mass Effect 1 planet travel was very boring in general. So having to do like all the side quests and going around to all those planets over and over, that's irritating. Mass Effect 2 obviously had mineral searching. Fuck that noise. <laughs> um, and then Mass Effect 3. But still, like both of those games still, the overall experience was worth going through that again. Whereas with Mass Effect 3, like I'm not saying Mass Effect 3 was a terrible game because of the ending. But it soured it enough to the point where I didn't really want to play through it again. Because I knew it was waiting for me at the end. And it's kind of the same thing here again. You know, New Game is supposed to be tougher. Well, supposed to be. It is tougher than the other ones. And so, basically what I'm looking at here is a multiplication of that frustration I already suffered at the later levels all over again. So it's kind of the same thing where it's like, I know what's coming. I know the end result. I don't really know if it's worth playing through again. So I don't know. But either way, for every all of you that have watched all of this, all of you that have, you know, liked the videos, commented, kept me entertained by telling me all about how much I suck, and I know it's a lot, I'm sorry. All the dicks in the world are just in my mouth right now, that's how much I suck, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for watching through it all. Through the frustration... Through the triumphs. Not that there are many of those. But still. For those of you that are watching the playthroughs and hopefully, you know, this does get built up. I know it's a process. It's not just going to immediately blow up and become, you know, a viable um, avenue of anything without, you know, having something there to show people in the first place. So hopefully crossing the fingers that this does get built up. If not, who knows what will happen in the future. But still... Thank you for watching. Appreciate all of you. You're lovely. You're awesome. Oh my god, I'm done with this game.